I'm just playing around with the zoom feature. It's pretty fun. <laughs> I feel like a flamingo is a classical guitar, isn't it? Flamingo. That's that like. Well, you could play now flamingo on a flamingo top. <gasps> <laughs> so this is log 410. If you guys don't know, we processed this log earlier in the year. We came across some interesting characteristics. We knew there was bear claw inside this log and we found so much more than that. So in this video, we're gonna go through the huge range of characteristics that we found in this log. You know, overall, we'll get a rough idea of how much product is coming out of the tree. A lot of product. I just did probably like two hours of grading, whatever, and I'm just kind of like, woo. <laughs> you stare at grain for so long, you just go kind of crazy. This is 410 without bear claw. You could get some when you thickness sand it, but I'm just gonna call it no bear claw. This is bear claw. Here's a good example. You could probably even see that on the camera. Oh, yeah. So this, this is bear claw. It's like you have bear claw going across basically your entire top. It's highly visible without any kind of thickness sanding or planing. And then this, this is the coolest stuff, bear claw and pink. So these ones are really, oh, wow. really Look special. At the, Look at the this claw one here. That thing is huge. Yeah. Then we have our artisan. We got what we've coined as the dragon claw. And then the one piece is all ended up on the back palette over there. Yeah. Gives you an idea of how big this tree was. This is the outer wood here. We've actually cut the heartwood out of this tree. So that's about six inches of heartwood taken out of the tree. That would have been our tree there. Well, let's get to grading and processing all this and maybe we'll get a rough tally of how many. How many, how many guitars can you fit in the back of a pickup truck? <laughs> <laughs> One more pass. Really nice. Somewhat symmetrical in these V's yeah, here. Yeah, that's a good one. One piece. One piece. It's pretty hard on the drum sander. We've got a lot of different stuff here. A typical tree, you'll get maybe three grades, really good tops that are triple A, double A, which are great tops still, but just maybe don't pop as much. A single A that has some variation in grain. This log has so much more than that. We have our standard grades that I just mentioned. We also have bear claw tops. Our pink tops. Flamingo. Flamingo. This is what I'm excited about. I think these are phenomenal. And then we have what we've coined our dragon claw tops. It's pretty amazing. I cannot wait to see someone make a guitar out of this. This is going to be really cool. One piece tops. This is a bit of a novelty in the guitar world because one piece tops don't exist. And they don't exist for a few reasons. One being that the trees are just simply not big enough to get vertical grain all the way across an entire guitar top. But this tree, as you probably saw, is massive. And we have vertical grain going all the way across. How many people have access to a one piece top? I don't know anybody. So these are kind of our abnormal ones, hey? These are figure and something unique. So this and then shows the range here. These What's are all on? the tops that I need to grade. Let me back up so I can actually get a better view. So like how many are in this stack? And how um, many stacks are there? This is two pallets worth. So that's 10, 20, 30. This is 50, uh, 100, 200, maybe 300. And then there's some up here. 
probably if you include these ones, I'm gonna say 500 here. Actually, that's higher than I was guessing. I was hoping for yeah. five or 600, I think. So we have that amount here already in front of us and there's still quite a bit more in the kiln. Very good. Here's a question for you guys. How long do you think it's gonna take me to grade all these tops accurately? Well, we can just do one and then we'll multiply it by 500. Okay, yeah. This one, so I'll pull out one that I've never seen before and that'll make it a little bit more interesting. So you've never seen this before? Yeah. Okay. Okay, 410 WH, this one's an extra long one. So you can see we've got our line on there. So that, that uh, crayon mark there is at uh, 22 inches. So it looks like nice even grain and we actually have quite a bit of bear claw. It's probably pretty tough to see its rough form but I can see it quite a bit. But I do have some bowing of the grain here. You can probably see that. It's almost nothing but even the tiniest bit downgrades it. Pretty hard to pick that up on camera. It looks straight yeah. to me, but... Yeah, it looks straight, but uh, oh, once, yeah. you've, once you've stared obsessively at <laughs> several several hundred tops, you can start to you can just pick it up and look at it a well, little bit. So that one would probably not be a triple A. It might actually be a double A with bear claw. So some, some lucky person will get... Um, a better price on a top that still has bear claw. I don't actually know who's selling a bear claw top at a double A price, but that's probably where it's going to go. So there, that's one top. Okay, we'll just multiply that by 500 and yeah, get and then to go. we'll have a ballpark, yeah. say two weeks maybe. <laughs> we actually do a lot more in our grading. I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit more. Let's take out this one. This one is a really good one. This one has bear claw. There's no change in the grain. It is a fantastic top. To really figure out anything more, I have to start feeling it. And sometimes I'll just get like the sound of what it sounds like and feel how stiff it is. This is incredibly stiff. I can, I can barely flex it and it's pretty thin. When you get a really stiff top, it sounds like that. When you run your fingers over it, you can hear it make that sound. It doesn't sound dull, it sounds sharp. And then we go for what everyone likes to do is the tap test. Yeah, so it's got nice sustain. And that's mostly what I look for. I look for like a, a pleasant note. The note actually carries for a while. Why don't I do something fun and just like attach the mic to the piece of wood and see what happens? Sure. Who knows what'll happen? Yeah. Uh, let me try one. Here, you take yeah. the camera. I want to try one here. Tap testing in itself is quite an art. Open to a lot of interpretation. Oh, so. yeah. Sounds so much better when you get closer. Like it maybe it sounded dull when I was like two feet back. It's a low note. Rich. We don't actually tap test every piece. Most of the grading has no tap test, but we know that it sounds good. What I'm most interested in is this bear claw right here, which I can see. I don't know if you guys can see it. Do you guys see it? You know what might make it more obvious? Let's bring it to the planer and just give it a quick plane. Yeah, let's take a look. Just take a little slice off and then you'll see. Before that, we need to deal with some office -y stuff so that we can bring these guitar tops to the Vancouver International Guitar Festival. Yeah, a little bit of an outing. You're going over the... Uh, description. Our description. Let me, let me just read this real quick. Okay. So, Mountain Voice Inc. Canada. Mountain Voice Inc. supplies some of the finest quality Engelmann spruce tone wood for many types of instruments, such as guitars, violins, violas, cellos, upright basses, and much, much more. It was a surprising actual amount. Yeah. <laughs> Stock includes wood from over 400 different logs, providing a broad selection of widths and types of grain color stiffness. Yeah. Instrument wood can be purchased online and shipped to makers worldwide. Okay, Mike's going to plane this top. 410 WL. Yeah. Or 41 Owl. Let's go! So 
So we could see this one. You could sort of tell there was more, but you couldn't really pick it out very much. But pieces like this, which are actually quite prominent now that it's planed, you couldn't really see those. Yeah, it's it's full there. There's tons on that side, and there's some really big ones over there. Yeah. Just enormous. That's so cool. A reminder of what it looked like before. That's some before after magic right there. Yeah. We are not sponsored other than by our sales at this point. So subscribe to this channel and trust us. If you just like click that button, somehow there's some like magic way we get a little bit more money every time you do that. So right. it's important to us. Come to the Vancouver International Guitar Show. Come meet us in person. We're much better in person than we are on camera. I swear. Way better. Yeah. Swear. More character. Um, pleasant to talk to, really. And you get to see tops like this in person. You get to tap test them yourself. Hopefully we'll see you all there.